We're here at the Dino Bay at STM with Project 86 where we've had the first chance to test some upgrades to the power of the engine. Now we did this in a few stages. First of all we used the EQTEC tuning package to see how much more power we could get out of the car while the engine was still completely standard before we changed the exhaust and extractors. With just tuning alone, we managed to pick up a pretty impressive 9.6 kilowatts at the rear wheels, which is a fairly big gain when our starting point was only 114. After that, we took the car back to standard, we fitted the extractors and the three inch catback exhaust system, put it back on the dyno to see what just the exhaust components would give on their own. These components gave a smaller gain of about five kilowatts at the rear wheels. What was noticeable straight away though is the car now had a nice aggressive exhaust note. That's one thing that's really lacking with these cars standard, they're super quiet and you can't even tell the engine's running. We've now got a nice exhaust note that's not overly loud, it's not droney in the cabin, but it lets you know that the engine's actually running. Next we tuned the engine to make the most of these components. We picked up a total gain of 14 kilowatts at the rear wheels. Again, given our starting point of only 114 kilowatts, this is a pretty good gain for a naturally aspirated engine. One of the really exciting features of the EQTEC tuning package is the race ROM features. A race ROM is a patch on the factory ECU code that lets the factory ECU do a whole bunch of really cool things that it normally can't. So these features include flat shifting, auto blip on downshift, launch control, and also the ability to have multiple maps stored in the ECU. This lets you tune the car for different fuels or different conditions. And these features are all included at no extra charge in the EQTEC package. Our final figure was 128.2 kilowatts at the wheels, 14 kilowatts up from where we started. We're really impressed with that result. It's a naturally aspirated engine, only two litres in displacement, and we weren't expecting miracles. 14 kilowatts though is a gain you're really going to feel on the road, and now we've got a nice sporty exhaust note to go along with it. Add into that the race ROM features which are really cool to play with, and we've got a package that's really going to work well. We can't wait to see how it performs at the track. We're testing out the new Nitto NTO one track tyres. So these are a semi-slick compound. Uh, for me it's the first time I've driven on a semi-slick, and I could not believe the difference. Uh, it took me a whole session to actually find the limits of the tyres. It's really transformed the handling and the car is so much quicker around the track thanks to the tyres.